Welcome back to Gruber Motor Company. Today's video is battery upgrade options for a Tesla Model S. All electric vehicles will need a main battery pack replacement at some point as they age and reach end of life. The Tesla Model S, one of the most popular EVs in the market today, is going on eight years of age and still going strong. The Tesla Roadster, on the other hand, is the closest standard of reference for mass cell EVs against which main battery pack aging may be compared or assessed, considering the Roadster, which was released in 2008, has been driven for 13 years now and the majority are still going strong. So the Tesla Roadster came with only one battery size of 53 kilowatt hour. In 2015, an upgrade was briefly available, increasing the size to 80 kilowatt hour which took the range from 240 miles to 300 miles. Battery packs available for the Tesla Model S, which originally came with a main battery pack as small as 40 kilowatt hour to create a low entry price, was even smaller than the Roadster pack at 53 kilowatt hour and only good for 139 miles range. By the way, only 4% of the customers bought this low range Model S most customers opted for the 60, 70, 75, 85, or 90 kilowatt hour packs instead. The maximum range Model S was released in the summer of 2016 and was the 100 kilowatt hour battery pack, good for 330 miles range on an 80% charge. It also provided a zero to 60 of 2.8 seconds, which made it a fairly popular Tesla. We get two kinds of questions regarding the Tesla Model S. One, can I upgrade the main battery pack to something larger for more range? The answer is yes, with some constraints, which we'll go into. And two, what are my options when it is time to replace the main battery pack because it has aged and failed? So the main reason that Tesla owners want a larger battery pack is more range and less supercharger downtime when they're traveling. After all, if you're on vacation, you'd really like to vacation rather than spend all your time at superchargers, even though superchargers are generally placed into strip malls with a lot of infrastructure. What is that, a Tesla Roadster? That's not supposed to be able to supercharge. The differences between these packs are module cell count and the number of modules in each pack. This pack, for example, is a 60 kilowatt hour pack, which has 14 modules and an empty penthouse. This, on the other hand, is an 85 kilowatt hour pack. It has 14 modules with two in the penthouse here. Regarding replacement options when a pack fails and is no longer repairable, we had a recent conversation with Tesla Corporate. They shared that the new Tesla 90 kilowatt hour pack, good for about 270 to 294 miles, is a good option for upgrade from a 40 to 85 kilowatt hour pack. A direct quote from corporate service regarding these replacements. Customers with earlier battery packs, 60, 70, 75, 85 kilowatt hour configurations can purchase the new 90 kilowatt hour packs from Tesla if they're interested in equipping their vehicle with a fresh battery with a higher energy storage capability. They were quick to add, however, that the ultimate Tesla battery pack, the 100 kilowatt hour pack, good for 330 miles range, cannot be safely inserted into upgrade candidate vehicles that were not originally 100 kilowatt hour. The compatibility issue is a deterrent for the maximum size. It is not a question of firmware, but hardware. The 100 kilowatt hour packs are just heavier. Not only does this require modifications to support the additional weight, control arms, suspension components, but the added weight affects the dynamics of the vehicle structure during a crash and the timing or triggering of airbag deployment. Because of the effect on airbag deployment and collision dynamics, 
Tesla does not support the upgrade to a 100 kilowatt hour battery in a vehicle not originally equipped to receive one. Even with vehicle suspension upgrades, since there is no single change to modify a vehicle to accommodate the heavier 100 kilowatt hour battery. Tesla added that it is the combination of various changes in the vehicle structure, even seats and placement, airbag deployment timing, and multiple components that are incorporated into the larger 100 kilowatt hour pack cars, making an upgrade to 100 kilowatt hour pack cost prohibitive. Currently, Tesla's only option for Model S and Model X battery failure is replacement. Under warranty, this cost is absorbed by Tesla. After the eight-year powertrain warranty expires, the cost is charged to the customer at around twenty dollars to $23,000 for a main battery pack. Since we began airing this video, Tesla has begun to adjust this battery pricing downward and we're hearing quotes as low as $14,000 with a $2,000 installation charge. These packs are only eight to nine years old. Unlike Roadster packs that are going on 13 years and are quite repairable for about 25% of a replacement cost. So the simple answers are, yes, you can upgrade your main battery pack. And until a mass cell failure occurs, which appears to be some years away, you can get your out of warranty main battery pack repaired by a third party service organization. Thank you for watching another one of the Gruber Motors Company Tesla videos. We appreciate your comments down below because they tell us what you want to see more of and less of. We have many more videos coming your way and if you'd like to see them, make sure you hit that notification bell. This is Pete Gruber signing off.